I'm Dr. Michael Lawson, I'm an adult gastroenterologist. I'm here to tell you about the mechanisms of your symptoms in irritable bowel syndrome and chronic abdominal pain. Simply put, you have two problems. One is what we call visceral hypersensitivity, a couple of big words. But what that means is you have a different threshold in your GI tract. I'll give you an example. If I put this balloon inside your GI tract, say in the rectum, and I inflate it, it's going to hurt. That's obvious. But most people would feel pain at this volume. You're going to feel pain at a much lower volume. You have a different threshold. In addition, you don't accommodate well. What do I mean by that? Well, normally when we eat, the top part of the stomach called the fundus expands and stores food to be ground up into tiny particles that pass on through. But if the stomach doesn't relax, there's not much room in there. So in your case, you're going to feel full very quickly, you want to belch a lot, maybe even throw up. And your body tries to compensate by making you bloat. You're pushing your diaphragm down and subconsciously relaxing your abdominal muscles to create some space. It's subconscious because it goes away under an anesthetic. Best way to understand accommodation is just take a balloon and here it is, blow it up, no problem. But what happens when I put it in here and try to blow it up? Not very good. And that's what's happening to you. That's why you're belching a lot, that's why you're passing a lot of gas. So why do these problems occur? Well, every day we have millions of signals coming up through our spinal column. Every bit of gas, food and stool generates a signal. The reason we don't feel every signal is because of a filter called a pain gate or anterior cingular cortex. It resides in the base of the brain and when bad things happen down here, it's meant to click on like a stop sign and it's meant to stop a lot of that information from coming through. In your case, studies show us that your pain gate doesn't work very well. There's not as much grey matter in there and when something bad happens down here, you don't light up as well as you should, as efficiently as you should. So you feel everything. And that's why you get neck and shoulder pain, TMJ, migraine headache. Your whole body is on information overload. Now, unfortunately, it's even a bit more complicated than that. There are centers in the brain that interact every day, all day. There's a center in the front of the brain called the prefrontal cortex. And I want you to think of it like the volume control on the TV set. So when it gets cranked up, you get more volume. And for, in your case, you get more discomfort because it opens up that pain gate even more. That prefrontal cortex or volume control is under the influence of three main factors, stress, sleep, and exercise. What do I mean by stress? Well, I don't mean the stress is causing your pain, but I can tell you if I put this balloon in here and I pump it up, and put it in your stomach, you're gonna feel it, that's uncomfortable. But if I put you under stress, that's all you're gonna to need to cause the same amount of pain. So stress makes the condition worse. Hence stress management is very, very important and you will hear about that in some of the other sections of this video. Stress management is vital. The second thing is sleep. When you don't sleep well, you tend to feel more pain. And patients with irritable bowel syndrome and chronic abdominal pain tend to have a lot of what we call REM sleep or rapid eye movement sleep. You tend to wake up easily, dream a lot. And that's why we often in adults suggest a little dose of nortriptyline to improve sleep patterns and also to shut the pain gate as well. It uh, is a way of limiting the amount of neurotransmission by reducing a chemical called norepinephrine. So there's value in, nor in norotriptyline for adults. The uh, third thing I mentioned was exercise. Why exercise? Well, that pain gate is very endorphin sensitive. That means when you get endorphins in there, you shut the gate by locking on those endorphin receptors. And studies show us, there's five good studies now that say the more you exercise, the better you're gonna feel. There's a dose response. Those who exercise vigorously do better than those who exercise moderately, who do better than those who don't exercise at all. In addition, when you exercise, your cortisol levels are much lower under stress than when you don't exercise. So there's big advantages in exercising. So that's the explanation for your symptoms, but please review the other videos. You're gonna find them very, very useful. We're giving you the tools that are gonna help you cope with this major problem. We're gonna help you understand relaxation, exercise, diet, and it's gonna make a huge difference in the long run to help minimize your symptoms and improve your quality of life.